Nelly, looks like I've discovered another strain of bacteria in the kitchen. Exciting. Ah. Hey, if I... Listen, I'm sorry to interrupt your private little time with Nelly, but... Dude, listen, I want to watch TV. So? So? The stuff you said about the bacteria on the damn remote. I, I, I can't touch it anymore. And right now, watching TV is my whole life, and you messed it up for me. Now, is there really bacteria on that damn remote? Or are you messing with me because it's not funny? Chopper, I may be many things. Genius. Pioneer. But one thing I am not is an alarmist. Take a look for yourself. What am I looking at? That, my friend, is a sample from your remote control. You see those little blots? Yeah? That's uh, bacteria. The bacteria that calls your remote control home. Oh! Ah! They're moving! Why the hell are they moving? Well, because, dear friend, they're alive! Oh! So how do I get... Uh, how, how, how do I get rid of them? Oh, no, you can't. It's impossible. No, no, no. Besides, a bit of bac bacteria is actually good for you. Um, but you can minimise it. How? Well, you see, every time you come into the house, you bring with you a host of new bacteria. It comes in on your shoes, on your clothes, and then you sit on the couch, and then you put your feet up on the coffee table, and then suddenly the bacteria goes... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Do you know, the average pillow will double its weight within three years due to the remains of dust mites in it. Remains? Hmm. So you mean I've been sleeping on dead stuff? Oh, yes, yes, yes. You know, on average, the, um, the average bed actually contains 10,000 dust mites. How the hell do they survive? Well, they live on dead skin cells. Your skin cells. Oh, come on, no, stop it. Shut up, shut up, man. Shut up. Yeah. Goodbye, Jobber.